Good evening, good afternoon, salute, salute world. What's good with you? What's good with you? Gotta close my motherfucking garage door. Oh, aren't we all good? You feel me? Just wanna go grab my motherfucking children, bro. I'm gonna go get my young kings, man. They've been with their mom for two weeks, so. You know what I'm saying? I miss my young kings, so it's time for me to, you know, go get the young kings, bro. Um, <clears throat> what I do want to touch on, I want to touch on the Kyrie shit. It seems like Kyrie is in the news for all the wrong reasons. Kyrie is in the news for all, man, for all the wrong reasons. And you know what's so fucked up? The man didn't even do nothing. <laughs> All he did was lose the playoff series and, and and didn't get a jab. But they put more emphasis on a jab. That shit going to destroy your whole career. See, when you don't go along with the system, the system say, oh, for real? Oh, okay, nigga, watch this. And what they do when you don't go along with them? When you don't go along with the system, what they do? Where they, where, where they attack you most? Your pockets. So he got. he's lucky he got, he's lucky that he has that player option. You know what I'm saying? Because he can opt in and get paid. They might not, nobody's probably not going to give him a new motherfucking deal, a long-term deal. Stephen A. already, you know what I'm saying, told every team in the motherfucking history of the game, don't pay him. I'm giving them one-year deals. See, they want to attack your pockets. You get what I'm saying? But they allow James Harden to come on the court, right? They allow James Harden to come on the court, give no effort at all. Turn the ball over on offense. And then kick it in the club after the game when you play like motherfucking toilet paper with doodle -doo stains on it. So he he's up for a new deal. They'll pay him. They'll give him a supermax, but not a talent like Kyrie. Cause you know why? Kyrie is a free thinker. That's what it is. They don't want free thinkers, bro. They don't want free thinkers. It's only a matter of time, nigga. Mark my words. The thing, this whole Nike shit. When you have a lot of motherfucking basketball players and hoopers who wear Kyrie Irving shoes. You know what I'm saying? That are made and produced by Nike. This right here is the beginning of the end for Kyrie Irving as an NBA basketball player. Mark my words. They're going to find a way to blackball Kyrie, bro, and he's going to be out the league. They don't like nobody like Kyrie with his mindset as far as being a free thinker. You know what I'm saying? And, and so fucking um, close to, you know what I'm saying, a uh, humanitarian as possible in the NBA. That they're gonna find a way to get rid of him. They did it with Craig Hodges. They did it with Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, formerly known as Chris Jackson. They're gonna find a way to get rid of Kyrie. Trust me, nigga. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You, nigga, this his contract this year, and you know what I'm saying this this motherfucking Nike deal, his endorsement deal with Nike. Um, there's no reason why he shouldn't get paid as a max player. You know what I'm saying? And if, if this motherfucking stupid ass motherfucking pandemic shit never existed and never started, right? We wouldn't even be having this conversation with Kyrie. <laughs> we wouldn't be having this conversation about Kyrie. He would have been available for the team. He would have played all the motherfucking games. And they probably still would have lost to Boston. And that wouldn't affect his motherfucking uh, his money at all. But since motherfuckers is so good at going alone and get alone, then this is what you get. So they going to try to defame the all the man character. They're going to try to attack his pockets, nigga. That's where it hits you the most is the money. But see, when you're not really connected to the money like that, then guess what? Think about it. When you're not connected to the money, you feel me? Then it can't face you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You make another way. That's how this shit go. We get that shit out the mud. You feel me? Period. Point blank. But a nigga, a, a, a skip jump hula hoop do all type of shit nigga they, they, they see you to the circus you know what I'm saying and put you out there with the animals and, and let you do all the motherfucking tricks of the trade just to get your motherfucking bread that's it so niggas is blaming I can't believe that niggas is really blaming Kyrie on getting swept the reason why they're talking about not paying him Kyrie didn't get swept the Brooklyn Nets got swept was Kyrie on that team yes he was on that team 
Is he supposed to be held accountable? Yes. Does that mean that you don't pay him or you don't motherfucking renew his motherfucking shoe deal? No. No. How many times motherfucking Kobe did this shit? And, and got, Kobe didn't got sweat before. And Kobe my guy. Kobe is my fucking guy, but he got sweat before. You know what I'm talking about? Motherfuckers done lost series before. LeBron got sweat before. Let's keep this shit a buck. Did it hurt his pockets? No. It actually made him more money. <laughs> now, you feel me? So this whole notion that, man, Kyrie didn't get it done. Like, nigga, what? Kyrie isn't the face of the franchise either, nigga. The last time I checked, that was Kevin Durant, who motherfuckers was proclaiming was the best player in the league for a long, long time, right? Right? Until when this nigga started losing and acting like a whole cake and went to the Warriors, now niggas don't have no faith in KD no more. Now niggas is switching their whole tune and narrative different now. KD not that guy. It's this guy over here. And it's this guy over there. It's that guy over here. That's why I don't ride the train with everybody else when they say who the best player in the league is, nigga. In my opinion, I pick who the best player in the league is based off of the criteria and based off of what I see, not what the numbers say. You can always prove a case, nigga, using numbers in both good and bad. You feel what I'm saying? But niggas is phony for the shit that they be doing, though. I'm not finna ride nobody else's train, bro. I think with my own mind, nigga. You feel me? A lot of niggas just, oh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. He right, you right, you right, you right, you right. Just agreeing with motherfuckers. It's okay to disagree with somebody, bro. And have your reasons why you disagree. You know what I'm saying? And then it's okay to respect somebody else's opinion and respect their pers and look at it from their perspective. <clears throat> That's where we twisted it and we divided right there when it comes to perspective and opinions. Just because you have an opinion, it doesn't make it a fact. Last time I checked. And just because you view something a, a certain way doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying? That that's the only way that it can be seen and viewed. You feel what I'm saying? That's called a perspective. Period. Point blank. <clears throat> but Kyrie on his way out, bro. And I hope Kyrie... I salute Kyrie and his family and everything he stands for, bro. You know what I'm saying? But the league don't like them, them rebellions, bro. The league don't like them, re them rebels. I'm telling you. The world don't like rebels. The world don't like rebels. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. So hopefully this nigga uh, Kyrie can get, you know, have a long, lengthy career. You feel me? Hopefully he can continue to play basketball and try to help whatever team he get, he's on. You know what I'm saying? Win a championship. But looking at Kyrie as if he's the face of a franchise, no. Is he an important piece? Yes. But the face, no. In my opinion, I don't think he can carry a franchise. Just like I don't feel that Steph Curry can carry a franchise. They call people franchise players because of their amazing talent. You know what I'm saying? And the style of basketball that they play. And their personality and all these other things. But can we honestly sit here and say, you know what I'm saying, that Steph Curry can carry a franchise by himself with no other great complimentary players around him? No, he cannot, bro. Who can? Nobody can. What player you know that can carry a franchise without no other great players around him? Name them. Even going back to the old school, nigga Bird played with Hall of Famers. Magic and Kareem play with Hall of Famers. Jordan play with Hall of Famers, nigga. Come on, let's keep it a hundred, bro. So stop setting this unnecessary and unrealistic expectation for Kyrie Irving. Come on. Y'all acting like Kyrie Irving is the motherfucking cream of the crop and like a god. And that's no disrespect to Kyrie. Kyrie is a phenomenal human being and basketball player, bro. But they, the expectation that they set on this man, they're trying to fucking destroy Kyrie mentally and psychologically. It's too much pressure and too much weight, bro. He just want to play basketball. That's it. That's all he want to do. Y'all saying Kyrie this, Kyrie that, nigga. And it's always Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. Last time I checked, nigga, Kyrie played with LeBron. Last time I checked, nigga, uh, LeBron, uh, or he played with KD. Last time I checked, he played with um, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, Gordon Hayward. 
You get what I'm saying? So stop with this Kyrie shit, bro. Let the man live, nigga. God damn, they got sweat, bro. I don't see nobody bringing motherfucking Patty Mills and, and Steve Nash and Sean Marks and motherfucking Bruce Brown and all them other motherfuckers static. They lost too. They got swept too. Team game, nigga. Or do the stars take the bucket of responsibility? Yeah, but while Kyrie is trying to enjoy his motherfucking offseason, you know what I'm saying? He's still in a motherfucking media getting torn to shreds. Pockets being motherfucking compromised by Stephen A. Bitch, ESPN analyst. You know what I'm saying? And motherfucking Nike. Keep it a hundred right now, my niggas. Come on, man. God damn. My niggas don't like to keep it a hundred, bro. I'll be sitting here and cap for attention. That shit makes no sense, bro. Respect the man hustle, bro. Respect how he go about his business. You might not like it, but it ain't for you to like, nigga. You sit back and watch what he do on the court, bro. You know what I'm saying? Period, point blank. And, and, and respect what he do in the communities and off the court. You feel me? That's what the shit is about. The man said it ain't about the money. During the pandemic, he donated his motherfucking all, all his salary to the motherfucking uh to the workers and the staff of the motherfucking Barclays. So what are we talking about here, bro? Like he don't be he don't get in the news for that. Stephen A. Smith ain't raving on that, but he's trying to destroy the man's pockets. What have Stephen A's bitch ass nigga? What have Stephen A ever did for anything charity? What have he did for his motherfucking old college that he went to where he didn't get no playing time, where he got the coach fired, and that broke ass motherfucker was injured and broken down like the rest of these soft ass niggas in the NBA? Huh? Tell me that. Right, that's what I thought. <laughs> niggas don't want to keep it a hundred. Niggas ain't going to keep it a buck. I'm just waiting for niggas to keep it a hundred. But he got swept though, E. Nigga, you a capital ass nigga, nigga. That nigga got swept, nigga. Hell no, he don't deserve no motherfucking contract. That nigga get swept. He don't even deserve no motherfucking shoe deal. Matter of fact, nigga, strip that nigga of his socks, his underwear, everything. Now, he shouldn't be allowed to wear no underwear, nothing. That, don't get that nigga no motherfucking haircut. He don't get no haircut, none of that shit, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. Don't get that nigga no haircut. He got swept, nigga. Matter of fact, nigga, take that nigga house from him. Take the nigga girlfriend away from him. Tell the nigga daddy he got to vacate the premises, nigga, and get the fuck far away from Kyrie as possible. Nigga, he can't even breathe. Fuck it, nigga. You might as well kill the motherfucker then, nigga, because he got swept. <laughs> Niggas ain't ready for that real shit. <laughs> Woo! Niggas be coming with that fire, bro. I apologize, y'all. I forgot that I'm too, my bad, bro. I be coming, I'm, I be coming too hard, my fault. That's my fault. Let me sip some of this H2O real quick. Ooh, that's some good ass H2O right there. That's that zero water filter right there, man. You feel me? Turn your faucet water into purified water, man. You know what I'm talking about? That part, yeah. Take all the lead and impurities about your water, man. Go get that zero water filter. If I'm going to be promoting motherfucking shit, they're going to have to start reaching out, man. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Hitting that cash app straight up. I don't keep promoting motherfucking shit and they not touching that cash app, nigga. You feel me? But motherfuckers got to let motherfuckers live, bro. Straight up. Motherfuckers got to let motherfuckers live. <clears throat> but that's what it is, bro. That's exactly what it is, nigga. And I'm going to stand pat on everything that I say, nigga. I'm going to stand pat on everything I say. Because when you real, nigga. When you too real for TV, nigga. What? Come on, bro. That's why it's called television, bro. Tell a bitch shit. They put fake shit on television. They don't put nothing real. The motherfuckers be acting, bro. Everything that you see, nigga, is all falsified, bro. Straight up. Even these fake ass NBA games that they stage like a motherfucker. To make motherfuckers tune in, and then and then they and then the team and then in the next guy, the team won't show up and give no effort and get their ass blasted, nigga, by a hundred points. You feel me? Just to extend the series, just so they can make another eight to ten million dollars, nigga. Come on, bro. For the next game, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, Cletus. 
That's what I'm trying to tell you niggas, bruh. Y'all niggas don't be understanding nothing, nigga. Y'all don't be understanding shit. So that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So this is the real Elyse nigga giving, giving you a little dose of, you know what I'm saying? That pure shit. So, holla at your boy. You feel me? I'm gonna touch down on different on niggas' podcasts and shit. You feel me? Salute, you know what I'm saying? Ticket, salute to Kareem. You know what I'm saying? Ticket Miami, Kareem, LA. You feel me? And everybody else that's out there traveling, bro. Safe travels. Make sure you be safe. Enjoy your motherfucking weekend, man. Love on your people. Smile, cry, laugh. Love the advice. Same shit I always preach, so it ain't gonna change. Nothing ain't, it ain't gonna change with me, nigga. I, I'm not gonna. One thing that you ain't gonna get from me is a nigga who gonna switch it up. I'm one person, bro. I'm one way. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just what it is. I adapt, you know what I'm saying, to the circumstances and different climates. But other than that, nigga, I'm the same motherfucker, bro. Same motherfucker. So, you know what I'm saying? I love all y'all. Make sure everybody have a blessed day, man. And, and we gonna get it. I'm gonna come back with some more shit, though. I wanna touch on the Jimmy Buckets and the Miami Heat. Um, fuck Philadelphia. I'm, t- I'm done talking about Philly. It, it is what it is for Philly. You know what I'm saying? I just wish Philly the best. I wish the organization the best. I wish they fan base, more importantly, the best. So, you feel me? But I'm not gonna touch on Philly no more. It's pointless. You feel me? They got James Harden. That's all you need to say. Um, so that... I'm going to touch on that. Uh, I mean, I ain't going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on my boy Jimmy Buckets and then, and then Heatles. And then I'm going to go and, uh, and get my uh, my overview on a motherfucking Celtics game. Because that shit about to start right now. Actually, I ain't going to give it an overview. Because that shit about to start. So, uh, I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man.